This is a very high profile shooting that occurred in Clearwater, Florida on July 19th, 2018. Brittany Jacobs pulled into a convenience store in Clearwater, Florida and parked in a handicapped parking spot. Her boyfriend, Mark Keese, exited the vehicle and entered the convenience store. A few moments later, Michael Draca pulls into the convenience store and begins inspecting Brittany's vehicle to see if she has a handicap placard. Brittany rolled her window down and a confrontation erupted. Okay, so you can see Draca arguing with Brittany and Marquise comes out of the store. Boom, that was a violent shove. Draca pulls out his pistol, fires one shot, striking Marquise in the side. The bullet traveled through Marquise's lungs and heart, and Marquise died 30 minutes later. Was this a justified shooting? Let's ask ourselves the big questions. Does Michael Draca have a right to use or threaten the use of deadly force? For Michael Draca to have a right to use deadly force, he would first have to have a reasonable belief that the use of deadly force was necessary to prevent imminent death, great bodily harm, or the imminent commission of a forcible felony. Let's first discuss a reasonable belief. Would a non-biased, non-emotionally involved person believe that Michael Draca was going to die within seconds? I personally don't think so. And even Michael Draca's statement to the sheriff's deputies tells us that even Michael Draca didn't think he was about to die. This video is a portion of Michael Draca's interview with Pinellas County Sheriff's deputies discussing what Draca thought was happening after getting violently shoved to the ground. What did you think, Mike? Say again, What did you think when that happened? I've never been in that situation ever. I thought kicks were coming. Okay. So you thought he was going to... I thought kicks were coming or at least he'd be on you top need, of you me. You need help? No, I got it. Okay. okay. Left arm's good. All right. So, you're thinking he's gonna come kick you? I'm thinking he's coming to do the rest of it. Did you see him with a firearm? No, sir. I didn't see him with anything. Okay. What do you mean the rest of it? Whatever beating was coming after okay. that. So you thought he was gonna beat you and stuff? You're not kidding. From Draca's own mouth, we discover that his biggest fear was that Marquise was going to kick or beat him. Therefore, we know that Michael Draca's personal belief was not that he was in fear of death. The final question, was the use of deadly force necessary to prevent the imminent commission of a forcible felony? I'll include the list of forcible felonies below. Now, the two forcible felonies that most people think that the situation could have been is aggravated assault and aggravated battery. And aggravated assault is defined in Florida Statute 784.021 subsection 1. An aggravated assault is an assault with a deadly weapon without the intent to kill or with the intent to commit a felony. Marquise did not have a deadly weapon. As to whether Marquise intended to commit a felony is up for debate. Aggravated battery is defined in Florida statutes 784.045 subsection 1. A person who commits aggravated battery who, in committing battery, intentionally or knowingly causes great bodily harm, permanent disability, permanent disfigurement, or uses a deadly weapon. In my opinion, the violent shove committed by Marquise would be considered a simple battery. Therefore, it is not regarded as a forcible felony. Is the use of deadly force necessary? When looking at situations like this, it's important to ask yourself this question. Is your only option to stay alive to pull out your gun and shoot? Was Michael Draca's only option to stay alive to pull out his gun and shoot Marquise? I personally believe the answer is no. Option number one, Michael Draca could have simply gotten up and walked away from this situation. Now this would have been a massive hit to his ego. However, it is a viable option. Option number two, Draca could have gotten up and used physical force or violence, not including deadly force, to defend himself. 
Now I can hear you guys screaming at the video right now. What if he doesn't know how to fight? Just because you suck at fighting does not mean you're allowed to kill somebody. Option number three, Draca could have used a non-lethal device like pepper spray. Now you're probably wondering why I didn't include drawing your firearm and simply pointing it at Marquise. In 2014, the Stand Your Ground Law or Justified Use of Force statute was updated to include the word threatening. So now, you do not have a right to show somebody or threaten somebody with a gun unless you also have a legal right to kill that person. On August 29th, 2019, Michael Draca was convicted of manslaughter. And a few weeks later, he was sentenced to 20 years in prison. Let's take a step back to the day of the shooting. I personally believe that everyone involved made very bad decisions. Brittany should not have parked in a handicapped spot. And when somebody informed her she was breaking the law, she should have just moved. Marquise shouldn't have touched anybody. And Michael Draca should have been minding his own business.